So, you have identified your goals, type of video, and where you will be publishing it. Now, how do you start? Here are three practical tips to get your pre-production going. Number one, create a script or storyboard. You might be intimidated by the word script and storyboard and think it's a complicated document with all sorts of film terminology, but it doesn't have to be. Creating a script is as simple as writing a rough outline of the content you will be covering. The more planning and detail that goes into the script, the more time you can save filming on the day and editing afterwards. A storyboard just adds the visuals to the text and can be simple drawings to illustrate where you see the person or people positioned and in what space. An easy format for this would be to create two columns on a document, one with text and one with corresponding visuals. Number two, prep yourself or the talent. Spend some time briefing the people who will be on screen whether that's you or someone else. Give them notes about body positions and movements, if there are any, and most importantly, make sure that they know where they need to direct their eye line. And then get yourself riled up a little. On camera, we need to be much more animated than we usually are in order for the content to land better. But there is a fine balance between too little and too much. On a scale of Rian Kruijwagen to Leon Schuster, be it Trevor Noah. Number three, choose the right environment. Where you film is almost as important as what you film. In order to get your message across effectively, a fair amount of concentration is needed. Make sure your environment is a place that looks good, is extremely quiet and without echoes for sound and has everything you need. This will allow for minimal disruptions and a way more effective workflow. The old adage, failing to plan is planning to fail, always rings true and especially in the world of production. A well-planned day of filming can yield results that exceed your expectations, but winging it, that's never even an option. Do you have any questions about how you can DIY your video production? Drop them in the comments below and we'll happily answer them.